Hey, the YouTube is Gun Dude Seventy Three, bringing a different uh, angle today on the video, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing slash installation video. So, um, what did I get? Well, first off, we're going to need this. So, put that off the side, and um, I got the hog mat out. Need this, and then um, this is what I have coming in today. So, um, if you guys follow my Instagram, you'll know that I, uh, I gave one of these away just recently, so, um, make sure I'm in frame, using the SNG to open this up, eh, not terribly sharp, but it does, it's, there we go, I don't want to cut the inside, so, um, what did I get? That's everything. This is a um, Pete Gray lock bar stabilizer. So I think it's cool he has the element, the periodic table of the elements thingy there. Basically this replaces the standard lock bar stabilizer and I got um, polished toxic green radiused. So um, that's a really cool business card and birthday card you get. Definitely, um, I feel like I'm getting the value there, that's for sure. Uh, I got I got the Toxic Green just because um, I joined USN recently and I thought it would be cool. So, wow, that looks nice. Nice and shiny. So, um, what you'll need... Oh my god, where'd the screw go? Here we go. What you're going to need is um, a Torx bit for this knife. And the bit that takes off the lock bar stabilizer here is actually a T5, which is pretty tiny. It's not included in like the Benchmade blue box. So um, bear that in mind. If you b pick one of these up, you are going to have to get a new, um, you know, new thingy for it. You need a new bit. So um, that pops right out. The old one, pretty boring. I'm not sure what material it is. Feels pretty lightweight though. Might be tie, I don't know. And then we just um, take the new one and it drops right in, just like that. And we take our new screw, which is slightly longer than the old one. So I'm gonna take you out of frame here so I can get the screw started. There we go. And then you just screw that guy in. Do 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 do. Screwing in a lock bar stabilizer. Feels it's a longer screw than the factory one, that's for sure. And these fit um, striders. And they fit ZTs. Something's not right. Hold on. Hmm. Uh, that's great. Nothing like a video complication to make life just that bit more enjoyable. I'm not sure why that's not working. Unless it's supposed to be that loose. No, that's not right. That's right. Wait a minute. That's the problem. This is turning into a great video. The T5 took out the um, the Strider screw, but apparently the stock, the, the, the Pete Gray one here, there we go. Wow, I feel like an idiot right now. 
And I'm going to keep this video rolling. How's this for screwing with my head? Pun intended, by the way. This screw right here, the factory one, T5. The peak gray is a T7. Yep. There we go. I feel really smart right now. And um, that looks sick. So, there we go. Pete Gray Lock Bar Stabilizer. Word to the wise. It's a T5 to remove it, to remove the factory disc. It's a T7 to install this. So, um, there we go. A nice little easy add-on, if you're not an idiot, like me. It's an easy add-on to make your Strider really cool. So, I like that a lot. So, thanks for watching, guys. I should have the review on this guy up in a uh, matter of week, maybe. And um, the bit driver thingy I bought was a Husky 8-in-1, actually. So, I got this at Home Depot. So, thanks for watching.